Hello everyone, I'm Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness here at Trend Zero Day Initiative. Welcome to day two of Pwn to Own Ireland 2025. We have seen some amazing stuff today. And first, let me get you to the number, $792,750 over the two days of the program so far. 56 unique zero days. We saw some amazing work today, and of course the most amazing thing had to be the Samsung Galaxy exploit from Ken Gannon. Now Ken is a person who has won uh, a pony for best mobile bug, and he brought five bugs with him for this event. So the combination of the bugs, first of all, he forced the phone to tell a joke, that's great. But at the same time, he could have forced it really to do anything. The joke was just a nice touch. Then he exfiltrated a photo off of the phone onto his laptop. So fortunately it was a safe for work picture, otherwise it could be very embarrassing. And then he actually took over the phone completely, got a root shell on that and completely took it over. The rest of the day saw Canon camera, uh, the Canon printers, the Lexmark printers, the Philips Hue. We had RF enclosures. It was really great. We had one team that actually used the RF enclosure to exploit the Amazon smart plug. The reason we had the RF enclosure is because they attacked it with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi at the same time. So of course we had to uh, isolate those Bluetooth and Wi-Fi signals. Otherwise it could really interrupt stuff and we wanted to make sure that their attempt wasn't interrupted by any other Bluetooth or Wi-Fi in the room and it really ended up working out pretty neatly and that's team Neodyne from Germany so they did some great work there. We saw the RF enclosure used by Synactive as well on the Philips Hue bridge. They were able to take it over again without touching it using just signals to reach out to that bridge and touch it. So home automation you know, someone walking by your house, someone driving by, they could actually end up taking over your stuff through bugs like these, and it's really kind of wild to see. But it's great that we're getting this, and hey, we've got another day left to go. So we have one more Samsung Galaxy attempt. We actually have, you know, additional printers, Wi-Fi, NAS devices. Those are great, certainly not discounting those. But we have a, Gal a, Meg a Meta Quest attempt. So I don't know how that's gonna look like. You know, I'm a big fan of Snow Crash and Neil Stevens saying, is it gonna go like that? Are we gonna lose our minds? Or is it just gonna be like, a, you know, something, a reverse shell? Could be, you know, anything at all points in between. And yes, 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 of course, we have that big one still out there. And that is the WhatsApp attempt. We have a registration for a zero click, $1 million on the line. Will they show up? Will they show up with a zero click? We'll see. Uh, there's a lot that we don't know about, but it should be really interesting. The intrigue is just uh, off the charts with this. I know there are private chats going on all over the internet talking about who is this person? Is it real? We'll find out tomorrow, that's for sure. So thanks for joining us from day two. Join us for day three. Again, you can find us on social media at the ZDI pretty much everywhere. Follow us on the blog, zerodayinitiative.com slash blog. We'll be updating that live with results as throughout the day. So until then, I'm Dustin Childs saying thanks, and I'll see you online.